All right, guys, so it is now expected for Apple to release their next major update, iOS 26.2, to the general public in just a couple of days. Today, we're going to talk about a few things you're going to want to do and know right before you click update for the next release for iOS 26, iOS 26.2. The first thing I want to talk about is the expected release date for this software. Now, oftentimes, after we get the release candidate, iOS 26.2 RC has been out for several days now. The following Monday, we typically get the official release. So based on my experience, I believe Apple will be releasing iOS 26.2 for everyone to download worldwide on Monday, December the 8th. Now, keep in mind, this is not confirmed, but typically this is what we get. We get the RC the prior week and the following Monday, the official release. So if history was to repeat itself, then tomorrow on Monday, December the 8th, Apple could release their next major release for iOS 26, iOS 26.2. And here's a few things you're going to want to do right before you update. Now, if you're a beta tester, if you're currently running iOS 26.2 betas or the RC, and you want to get the official final release once it is officially available from Apple, you want to head on over into settings on your iPhone, go under general, go under software updates and click on beta updates right here and make sure you turn off betas and then update to the official final release for iOS 26.2 once it is officially available. Now, once you update, if you wanna continue testing betas, you wanna go back into settings under software updates and betas and make sure you turn on those betas right back after you update to iOS 26.2. Keep in mind that oftentimes after Apple is to release a beta software or the RC, the official release has typically a new build number. Now it doesn't happen all the time, but oftentimes it does happen. So if you're running betas, I recommend you do this for the day of the official release so that you get that final build installed onto your device. Now, something else that I always recommend is make sure that you update all your third-party applications. Even if you have the automatic app updates feature enabled, Oftentimes, developers will push out new updates for their applications for new software to be released by Apple for better performance and compatibility. So head on over into the App Store, click into your account, and hold and refresh, and you might be surprised with new software updates for your applications or new app updates for your applications, as you can see right there. And you can go ahead and download all the updates available for your applications if you have any available for you. Just keep in mind, this is something that I typically recommend so that you avoid any crashing, overheating, or slowdowns for your third-party applications on your device. Now, last but not least, Apple will most likely be releasing new carrier bundles or carriers will be releasing new carrier bundles. And this happens sometimes in the background, but sometimes it takes a little bit of time to update those carrier settings. So right after you update to iOS 26.2, you go back into settings, you go back under the Generals tab and go under the About section, and you may see a pop-up on the center of your screen for carrier settings updates. Obviously, you want to update your carrier settings if a new carrier bundle becomes available for you. Again, oftentimes these carrier bundles do install automatically with the software update, but depending on the carrier and where you're at around the world, sometimes you have to trigger these uh, carrier updates by manually going again into settings, general, about, and if you see the pop-up, make sure you update your carrier settings. So now let's talk about battery life and performance. These are some of the most popular questions. Is battery life any good? Is performance good? And you guys already know, I test multiple devices from iPhone 14 Pro Max all the way up to the iPhone 17 Pro Max, iOS 26.2 RC. Here's what I can tell you. With iOS 26, battery life was horrible. With iOS 26.1, battery life stabilized quite a bit and I can get through my entire day pretty solid in my opinion, again, testing multiple devices. Fast forward to iOS 26.2 RC, currently running on this device, I have to say battery life is sustained pretty well. So the performance of the battery life, I wouldn't say has increased dramatically. It's pretty solid, pretty stable, good enough to run on a primary device, very similar to battery life with iOS 26.1. So I get through my entire day, no problems. I don't have to connect my iPhone and recharge before the end of the day. Again, testing multiple devices. And I know everyone's experience could be different, but in terms of battery life for iOS 26.2, I would say it's pretty solid across the board. I know some of the older devices are still struggling with battery life, but so far, things are performing pretty well on this iPhone 17 Pro Max and all the other devices in terms of battery life. And then let's talk about the performance side of things. So I did run a benchmark here just to show you. So you see here, these numbers right here, this is going to be the third beta. As you see right there, we have 31, 30 on the single core score. 
and a 9,719 for the multi-core score. Fast forward to iOS 26.2, the RC, and you see there the single core has improved quite a bit. We have 3828, which is a good boost there for the single core performance and a slight boost on the multi-core performance, which translates to the OS. I have to say, everything is running buttery smooth. I've seen some posts of some users encountering issues with lag and things of that nature. Even the ghosting issues with iOS 26.1 have been addressed here and some of the issues with Apple Music. In terms of issues, you got to keep in mind that this is going to be so different for everybody depending on your device, the software, and at the moment that you encounter these issues, oftentimes when we install a software, right after we install the software, oftentimes we should let our devices sit for at least five minutes so everything can sort of start indexing into place and things will run a little bit smoother, but so far iOS 26.2 RC, based on my experience, again, testing iPhone 14 Pro Max all the way up to iPhone 17 Pro Max, it's pretty solid. And again, this is going to be a different story for everyone. If you're having issues with your device, I would like to know from you in those comments down below, which device are you using and what type of issues are you having? Perhaps we can submit some of this information so Apple can address with future software updates. So again, Apple could release iOS 26.2 as early as tomorrow, December the 8th, or sometime during next week. Stay tuned here to the channel. Obviously, we're expecting the next update, iOS 26.2. 3, the first beta, most likely after the release of iOS 26.2. So a lot happening next week. Stay tuned here to the channel. This is a quick follow-up right before the release. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.